J.K. Rowling has been reported to the police for being a transphobe. Let's get into this story and let's break it down. A sensational row has broken out between J.K. Rowling and India Willoughby after the Harry Potter author branded the trans broadcaster a man. But in an interview yesterday, Willoughby revealed that she's called the police. J.K. Rowling has definitely committed a crime. I'm legally a woman. She knows I'm a woman. Um, so you reported J.K. Rowling I have reported J.K. Rowling to the police for what she said, which I don't know that if that's going to be treated as a hate crime, malicious communications, but it's a cut and dried offence as far as I'm concerned. I think as far as I'm... She says it's a cut and dried offence as far as she's concerned. J.K. Rowling is just stating a reality, a fact, a biological fact for which she's been taken to the police. I mean, that is insane. Just for stating reality, you can be taken to the police and reported as being hateful. I don't understand what world we live in where someone states a reality and gets reported to the police. But let's continue. I think as far as I'm concerned, it's the important bit there. J.K. Rowling then immediately hit back. She said, some time ago, lawyers advised me that not only did I have a clearly winnable case against India Willoughby for defamation, but that India's obsessive targeting of me over the past few years may meet the legal threshold for... Is India Willoughby right to report J.K. Rowling to the police? Absolutely not. I think it's totally farcical and a waste of police resources. And look, the truth is not transphobic. I agree one thousand percent the truth it's not transphobic well said well people can be respectful for people's identities and people do identify in different ways it is not a hate crime to call a man a man well listen india willoughby is legally a woman that is the problem that she's legally a woman and that's not reality that's not the truth that's not a fact how she identifies cannot be translated into law. And as we're going to continue to see, the case that she makes is that, well, it's legal. She is legally a woman. And I don't understand this. Legally, you were legally allowed to own slaves. That was legal. And if you actually went against that, you were seen as someone bad, as something, as, as something that's not meant to be done. You shouldn't be against slavery because it's legal. So to be honest, for me, the legality of this doesn't mean a damn thing. Let's continue. She had gender reassignment surgery. She has a, uh, her um, passport says she's female. Her birth certificate says she's female. This was 100% a hate crime. Just we live in a society where delusion, where something that's not real is translated and actually put into law. And not only that, but they want the rest of us, they want the rest of society to go along with that. And if you don't, and if you want to respect women's rights, and if you want to defend women, then you're called a transfer. This is nonsensical as if someone calls a black person the n-word that's racism it, is it the is same it? thing amy it's not absolutely 100 percent. when um just like i said in the past it was legal to own slaves did that make that right did that make that permissible acceptable morally correct well um J.K. Rowling tweeted this to her 14 million followers. She further incited hate. She further incited violence. And that's just awful. I mean, I'm Indian just going to, yeah, just, just, just quickly on that, um, Amy. Just quickly on that, Amy, because it's quite a strong accusation that, that she's actually incited violence. I mean, is there any proof of that? Well, absolutely. India Willoughby is afraid for her life. She thinks she might be murdered. She further oh. tweeted that. She is so scared. Um, and that's not from nothing. That is okay. from hateful tweets. That is inside. That's what I'm talking about. That's inciting violence. That's inciting hate. Right. 14 oh. million followers. That's so powerful, Patrick. 
Ollie, is that is that fair enough? Or, you know, yet again, are we just dealing with feelings here? Well, the only victim in this situation is J.K. Rowling, who has been relentlessly bullied by Indy Willoughby and many other trans activists simply for initially saying that uh, biological men can't menstruate. That was her initial tweet, and she's been subjected to abuse, stalkers, harassment ever since. And I think it's really shameful for someone like Indy Willoughby to play the victim when we live in such a great, inclusive country, I agree. respectful to people regardless of their identities, Nobody has an issue as long as you're not affecting women's rights. If a biological man goes into women's space, women's sports, that is an issue. But if you're just going about your life, you're not affecting other people, nobody has an issue. And J.K. Rowling is not transphobic. She doesn't care how someone identifies. She only cares about these misogynist people like India Willoughby that are targeting women and trying to silence their voices. Which is something that I will never understand. Women fought so hard to have the same rights and responsibilities, which that's another discussion, but let's say the same rights as men do. And now they want to accommodate men that say that they feel like women. So women are actually accommodating men to take over their spaces. They fought so hard for their rights and now they're just letting men take over, which makes no sense. So women's nurturing nature is actually taking away the right, the rights that they fought so hard to get. And they don't see that. I don't understand how women still defend this, how women still defend for a man to go into a woman's bathroom, for a man to go into a woman's sport competition and just annihilate women. It makes no sense. It just... As I understand it, it has already been established in law that this is not a, a crime with the Maya Forstata case. Is there a school of thought that might say that India Willoughby is looking for attention? Absolutely not. I just don't understand why J.K. Rowling can't refer to India Willoughby, who had gender reassignment surgery, she identifies as a female, and she's legally considered a female. Why won't J.K. Rowling refer to her as a woman? Again, she said it there in the sentence. She identifies as... If I identify as an eagle, does that make me an eagle? If I identify as a six-year-old, does that make me a six-year-old? Case closed. Why should she have to, though, Amy? Because she's legally a woman. So that, that, that's, that's all, that, all, all that matters for you in yes. that sense, really? It doesn't, it doesn't matter about biology necessarily, Amy? Well, she, she has the same biological parts that I do. Well, I don't think so. She can't give birth to a baby so i doubt that she has the same biological parts that you do well she's a woman she's legally a woman true, just mm. like me her birth certificate says female her passport says female she is a woman she doesn't just identify as a woman again going back to the legalities i won't repeat myself but we got back we go back to the slavery it was legal that didn't make it morally correct uh india willoughby has the same biological parts as any woman well, she may, be, oh, sorry, he may have chopped off his body parts, but that doesn't make him a biological woman. And while you can change a piece of paper and say that he is a woman, he simply isn't. Agreed. That is where we should draw the line. And, you know, we have to accept reality as inclusive as we can be. A man is a man. And uh, what would you say, Ollie, to somebody who says, oh, what you've, what you've said there is, is, is transphobic? Well, I'll tell you what is transphobic and what makes life hard for actual trans people is people like India Willoughby that are constantly trying to be an oppressed minority, constantly victims. Trans people have had great rights in this country for many, many years. They've been accepted in society. However, in the last few years, people that have been trans for maybe 20, 30 years, they are having a really hard time now because these radicalised trans activists that have really destroyed their movement, they were living their life in peace. And now you have these kind of woke activists trying to make it all about them. And some trans people just want to live their lives so people like India, I think they're causing harm to their own community. Actually, if you look at the polls, if you look at the polls, the acceptance for gay people, trans people, etc. has actually gone down with the years. So there was a recent poll done, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 2022 or 2023, where the acceptance for gay rights and trans rights, etc., etc., has gone down. And that is the direct reason of this trans activist, LGBTQI5, 6 plus, minus nonsense that's going around and people are tired of it. And 
the only thing they achieve is for people to radicalize against gay rights, against trans rights. The only thing they achieve when they take it so much to an extreme is the complete opposite, is the pendulum effect. If the pendulum swings to one side too far, then it must swing to the other. And that's the frightening thing about this. The rights that gay people fought so hard for, the rights that trans people fought so hard for are being actually put into question because of all this radicalized gender ideology. Uh, Amy, what about all of the death threats that JK Rowling has had? I mean, surely she's got as much of a case against India Willoughby as anyone else, really. I mean, she's had people threatening to turn up at her house. She's had threats to burn her house down with her inside it. I mean, all of this vile, disgusting stuff. A lot of that has come from, from the trans community or allies. This is all because J.K. Rowling can simply refer and respect India Willoughby's um, sexual orientation. This is the latest from J.K. Rowling. The word transphobic, as used here, she's referring to the, the, the piece that was, that was put out earlier on, uh, does not mean an irrational fear or dislike of trans people. It means refusing to use gender identity ideologies jargon, refusing to parrot slogans, refusing to accept that sex doesn't matter when it comes to sport or single sex spaces, refusing to believe a bearded heterosexual man becomes a lesbian when he declares himself one, and refusing to believe an abusive misogynistic male is a woman because he likes to wear mini dresses and pout in selfies. Is that offensive? I agree with what she said 1000%. She, she's right. <laughs> she's just right. There's just no argument about it. Well, look, if you want to identify as a woman, that's on you, you know, but when you're coming for women like J.K. Rowling and trying to take away their rights, trying to charge her with a hate crime, you know, J.K. Rowling is one of the UK's biggest philanthropists. She's an incredible activist mm. and an advocate for so many people, kids, women, and it's just so wrong for India Willoughby to play victim. Yes, there are real victims of transphobia in countries and in places in the Middle East where they can get thrown off buildings, they can get mm. stoned to death. That's something that I never understand, especially with what's going on with Israel and Palestine, it's people defending Palestine where queer people, where gay people, where trans people are stoned to death, are thrown off of buildings, are killed, are mistreated consistently and repeatedly, yet people still defend, still defend them. And I'm not saying that we have a perfect society. There is going to be some transphobic people in our society as well. But on the whole, by and large, we respect trans people's rights. We respect the right for everybody to do what they want to do with their lives. As long as you stay away from children, you have the right to whatever you want to do to yourself, to your body as an adult. And it's actually quite funny and quite amazing that where they, where they choose to point the issues about transphobic people, misogyny, etc., etc., etc. It's actually the countries where those people have the most rights and the most freedom. I think that doesn't make too much sense, but that's just my opinion. Look, Amy, I'm, I'm, I absolutely would never do this seriously, by the way, so please don't take too much offence to this. But if, you know, if I called you a man, right, is that a hate crime? Yes. Right, OK. I think the world has gone mad. I think everything, I don't know. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and like always, see you in the next one.